Please be seated. And thank you for joining me. And no, Ash. I, ra I ran to the stage really quick. Yeah, I noticed that. You run faster than me for sure. Yeah. Good morning. How are you today? Good. It's good to see you. I saw that you were busy building some blocks in the narthex, right? Yeah, you were building up. Yeah. Later we are going to branch out, and later we are going to talk about generosity lived, right? Right? Oh my goodness. Good morning, everyone. Today I have a question for you. Have you ever have a situation when you see a person from a distance and you see the person, but you cannot recognize the person? Oh yeah. How do you feel when you cannot see who the person really is? Glasses. You need glasses, <laughs> yes. That, well, that's me for sure, yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. You feel like you can recognize them, but you cannot really picture them in your mind. Say again. You cannot put your finger on who that person is, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Let me, let me just say, Asher, so yeah, so uh, am I saying that sometimes we get frustrated when we can see the person and we cannot remember the name and who that person is, right? Yes, Asher. All right, so we will go to check that later, okay? Your Plato, that's right. So that is what happens, and at you, Emma, you just described what happens to me every Sunday after worship. When I see members of the congregation and I cannot remember their name, I know I have seen them, but I cannot recognize them, right? We will go into the, wait, one second, one second, let's wait for that, okay? You, you can, let's pull it back and wait for a little bit. Yeah, we, you, you, you know, so, but what I want to say, what I want to say with this is that that's what happened in the story that we read today in the gospel. Actually, last week, and I talk about this with, with our member, I went to visit one of the members of the congregation who is in the hospital. Well, it's, it's, like, it's like a hospital. And he is sitting there. I didn't tell him that I was going to see him. So I got to his room, and he is sitting. And then when he sees me, I say, I just wave my, at, at him, and I say, it's me. And he didn't hear me. And he looked at me and said, wait, I am busy. And I say, hi, and this is Sheldon, and I asked the permission to, sh to share the story. I say, hi, Sheldon, and then when he heard my voice, guess what? He recognized me, and he said, oh, it's you, Pastor Hector, come on in. See, in that moment when he recognized me, he was happy, he changed what he was thinking, and he allowed me to go into his room and have a wonderful conversation with him. Today's story, it's about Jesus and two disciples. And let me ask you this. Some, many years ago, and I don't know, have you ever gone to a 3D movie? No. Maybe that's too old technology for you. <laughs> this, is for, this is for you, okay? <laughs> but when, how do you like my look? It doesn't, it doesn't feel good? No? Okay. Well, the 3D, the 3D glasses are to see movies where you see like the, 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 the images in the screen come toward you. I, oh! So we are old enough now, right? Yes, you remember that. So, but the thing is that I cannot see very well. How do you think I can see you? I, do you think I can see very well like my regular glasses? No. I can see you, but I cannot recognize the people in the back. I only see people. So this is what is happening and what the story is reminding us. That sometimes we only see people, but we don't recognize them as who they are. Sometimes, yes? Just because they did one bad thing, you can't just, it's 
changing your mind every time you look at them. There's uh, that person. Just because it's, they did one time something wrong, it doesn't mean that we are going to identify as something bad, right? So the story tells us that the disciples were working with the disciples were walking with a person, and what do they see? Can they see anything? No. Can you see what that is? It's connected dots page. But as they were walking and listening to Jesus and the story and what Jesus was telling them, they kind of started to see something different. Can you start seeing what that looks like? No. Not yet? Kind of. But you might see something. You say? Mm hmm That's right, it was not in focus, right? And then as they continue to talk, they just start seeing a little more clear what, can you see what that is? It's like what? Water. Water, right? Yes. It's a chicken, you think it's a chicken? What the disciples were looking at a chicken? <laughs> well, let's see. And then as they continue to talk with Jesus and telling them the story and remind them of what God was doing, have done with Jesus, they just started to see something clearer and clearer. What is that? Is that Jesus? People with Jesus, and what are they doing? Oh, he's breaking the bread, right? So at the end of the dinner, after Jesus went away and left them, they realized who, who was with them. Jesus was with them as he broke the bread. And we can show the screen, I mean, uh, on the screen, the slide that I have so that people can see what I'm showing here. So, oh, and so we will see how sometimes we see people and how we see Jesus, right? This is the story that we have today. Let me see, where's the first one that you wanted to see? Can you see? Ah, oh, there you go. Thank you. So they want to compare what the disciples may have seen in the beginning and what they saw later. So this story tells us something important. So at the start I thought it looked like a horse. Yeah, exactly. This tells us something important and we are going to conclude with this. Sometimes we don't see how Jesus is walking with us. Many times we ask Jesus, why we, you are not with us? Why Jesus? Why you don't show up? But the thing is that maybe Jesus is reminding us how Jesus is with us every day. And how Jesus helps us to see things differently. How we see other people, but also today as we celebrate Earth Day, how we look at the creation that God has given us to take care of. When we see Jesus, we change our minds and we change the attitudes to one another. And so today we are praying to God to help us to see Jesus being with us always and bringing us together. Sometimes it will look like this, but most of the time we will see when we act and when we speak with words of love and care for others, this is how Jesus stays with us. So let's pray and then you can go back to your seat. Can you join me in prayer? We thank you, God, because you will know that you have sent Jesus to us. Sometimes, sometimes we do not see others and we don't see Jesus in others. Help us to see that you are always with us. And help us to remember that you have given us to earth to take care of so that everyone everywhere can enjoy the creation that you have entrusted us. In Jesus we pray. Amen. All right. Let's go back to your seat and thank you. Okay.